This is part four of Tukaram appears in it. A Bina Bina Bay from Justin Abbott. Bina Bay the This is Tukaram appears in a dream. I began to experience great sorrow in my heart. Why, O oh Vidal, have you forsaken me? I am all in a heap from the three fevers of life. What matters it? Oh, I may die. But just then, on the seventh day, repeating aloud the names and praises of God, Tukaram appeared in a vision before my eyes and said, Remember the first lines of the calf sloka. Do not be troubled, I am beside you. Take from my hand this nectar. When a calf puts its mouth to the cow, a stream of milk flows. Mm -hmm. This is excellent nectar. Drink it. Mm. <sighs> Goodness. With this, he placed his hand upon my head and whispered a mantra in my ear. And the mantra was, what, dear? What's the mantra? <laughs> Ramakrishna Hari. Ramakrishna Hari. Ramakrishna Hari. Hari, like my name. Hari, like Hari, Hari Kliya. <laughs> then I placed Krishna, my... You're, you could be a Ramakrishna Hari. Mm -hmm. I like the sound of that, Ramakrishna Hari. Mm -hmm. Then I placed my hand, head on his feet. Uh -huh. He gave me a book called Mantra Gita. This vision in a dream occurred through the Guru's favor on a Sunday on the fifth day of the dark half of the moon in the month of Kartika. My heart rejoiced. I filled itself, it filled itself on... It fixed itself on Brahma, pure intelligence. I was sat up astonished. I recollected the, recollected the mantra, Tuka, Tukaba, 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 in the form of a vision that manifested to me as abundant mercy in this dream. I'm reading from the autobiography of Bina Bay. Who is the power of Tukaram? She's a woman, Marathi poet. She had fed me, he had fed me with nectar, which to the taste was unlike anything else. He only can appreciate this who experiences it, says Bahini. Bahinar, Bahini, Bahinai. Such was the mercy of the Sadguru, a Satguru. Tukaram had truly shown it abundantly. Hmm. I was comforted by the Brahmin's words, and I remember the verses which I had heard in my dream without having actually seen Tukaba. I meditated on my mental image of him. He whose verses gave, give the mind rest, he in his bodily form is Vidal himself. There seems no difference between him and Vidal. This was the witness my mind gave. Pandurang and Tuka, Pandurang and Tuka, how can they appear different? In the Kali Yuga, Hari took the form of Buddha and entered the body of Tukaba. Tukaba, his intelligence took the form of Pandurang, while the mind, which is mana. Do you know the word mana is probably where you get the word man? Yeah, the word mana is. We call, in Greek, mana, we call uh, the mother. Mana, mana means in Hindi mind, and it means get you get man, and then you get mind. The mind, mana was Tukaba's. He who sits Tukaba's bodily organs in motion is truly Bandarang. Tukaba's eyes are also Bandarang. His ears are bandering in the form of the abang, which is a song. Whatever Tukaba's hand writes, it is clearly to Pandarang. All the Pandarang is God. All the actions of Tukaba. Hmm. 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 All 
the actions of Tukaba all the actions of Tukaba Ahari, he makes him one with himself through the fact of non-duality, says Bahini, Tukaba pervades in visible form, I see his very form in my contemplation of him. <sighs> We're reading that part where Bina Bay sees Tuka Ram in her dream. Uh -huh. hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have already related how my husband had tied me up into a bundle and beaten me up. My God, unable to endure my grief. Her husband was like a Brahmin who didn't like the fact she was hanging out with Tukaram. He's a low caste. Hmm. Uh, also on the fourth day when I was on the part, point of dying, Vidal performed a miracle in the form of a Brahmin who came to me and awakened me to consciousness. My soul did awaken and my thought fastened itself on Tukaba. Tukaba Bay. It was the seventh day after the calf had died that Tukaba had appeared in the dream, comforted me, fed me with nectar, having led the calf, me, to the cow, Tukaram. He had led her, who was the calf, to the cow, who was Tukaram. <laughs> see, see, these Indi Hindus, um, they, this is their world. After feeding me with nectar, he whispered a mantra in my ear, which everywhere men repeat. He placed his hand on my head and blessed me. The favor he bestowed on me alone could know its worth. The greatness of such a blessing is unlimited. It was what the calf declared in substance when it repeated the latter half of the Sanskrit sloka. On the eighth day, I became physically conscious, having drunk to the full the nectar of Tukaba gave me. Just then I saw the cow directly before me. She looked at the point of death because of her calf's death. But Tukaba said to me, I have fed this nectar also to the calf. Never can death touch it. He fed the calf nectar. So she doesn't have to worry about this calf. <laughs> hmm. The calf is here with me, immortal, its soul partaking gladly of the nectar, says Bhutbaini. After all the above had happened, the next events to take place will now be related in detail. Hmm. Hmm. Now, Chaira Ram, the great, the ocean of wisdom. Hmm. I think we'll stop there. Yes. What? Jaira Ram, the great, the ocean of wisdom, who can see things through his peculiar power of vision, sent for <coughs> Hiram by Bhat, Hiram Bhat, and asked him about my condition. Hiram Bhat related to him all the events that had occurred at his, his house. How a guru appeared to me in the dream and in the form of Tukabe, how he had enlightened me in the dream. He told me how the little girl awoke to consciousness and how she sat up and how she had called the cow to her, caressed her and milked her while the cow was drinking water and eating the grass. But he added that the character of the girl was changed. Her heart was now overflowing with emotion. He told how her heart had <coughs> was absorbed in Tukaba. Her parents had shited her. Her husband had become crazed against her was gazing at her, not knowing what to do. <clears throat> she was sitting in the house, absorbed in meditation, her thoughts being concentrated on Tukaba. Such were the events Haramba related to Jara Ram. He, on his part, rejoiced to hear them, says Bahini. Bahini, having heard these facts, Jara Ram did me a very kindly act. I think you see the Swami... It was actually a Brahmin Swami said, told him to lay off of her. <laughs> Very kindly feeling arose in Jararam Swami towards me, and he came personally to see what my mental condition was. When I saw him, I felt very happy, and my throat was choked with the emotion of joy. In my heart, I performed the Arati and 
chanted his praise, I bowed to him and in my heart sincerely worshipped him, saying, Bahini Pandarang truly recognizes that love of his heart. Hmm. Hmm. He poured upon me his look of love and affection such as a mother would give. Jairam accepted my heart's worship and with love for me returned to his lodging. As he sat on his accustomed seat quietly and with his mind brought to a state of peace, suddenly a thing thing happened that had never occurred before. Tukaram appeared to him. <laughs> hmm. Jairam joyfully made him a namaskar and embraced him. To me also he gave a moment's vision of himself and placed the morsel in my mouth. He said to me, I have come to visit Jairam, but I recognize your desire also. Do not remain any longer in this place. Do not let pass the opportunity for attaining self-knowledge and enlightenment, says Bharat Bahini. This is the second vision that Tukaba gave me through the working of my mind. Very good. We we're reading from Bahini Bay from the Poet Saints of Maharashtra by Justin Abbott from the Internet Archive. Hmm. We have millions and billions of books to read. Are you going to read all the books on Internet Archive? Or? Mm -hmm.